Welcome back to another episode of On the Rocks here on the Filmaholic channel. We have this every Wednesday where we talk about a particular topic. It's an unfiltered episode. We just talk about the topic and see where it goes. And this week we were talking about our favorite films as a child. Um, so these are movies that we watched as a lot as a kid. Could have been our favorite movies at that time. Um, not necessarily now. And yeah, so we're just going to talk about that. Um I will go ahead and start a little bit here and then to kick things off. Um, and the first ones I want to mention are ones that were very influential to me because um, I used to watch them. So I watched the, these movies with my grandpa um, over at my, at my grandparents' house, and that was Jaws on um, VHS. We had that one. Um, and I still have, you know... My grandma got gave let me have some of these on VHS of hers, so I, I actually I still have those VHS ones. This is only some of the few VHS I have because I'm like I watched these so much as a kid. I want to have that those VHS even if I don't ever watch them. So I have that yeah. VHS of Jaws, um, and that that movie alone, which is my second favorite film of all time, it was my favorite film until recently. Um, just I just remember watching that on, on their TV just over and over. And just, that as well as, unfortunately, Jaws of Revenge. I, we all I also watched that. Um, and I remember, but the thing with Jaws of Revenge is I don't remember like the whole movie. Like, I, I remember the movie now because I've watched it since then. But uh, the only thing about that movie that I remembered, and maybe I fell asleep, was the opening of that movie. Uh it's Christmas time. Brody's son goes out in the water and gets killed. Uh, but that's the only thing from that. And I don't, I don't think we ever watched two and three over there. I think they had the first, they had Jaws and they had Jaws Revenge um, for some reason. But yeah, love Jaws. Uh, and, and that, Jaws and the original Star Wars trilogy, which is the big one I want to get into here. Um, that were the movies that really inspired me to make, to be a filmmaker, to, to, to love movies, to, make you know be so passionate about movies like i am um probably wouldn't be here today doing this video talking about movies if it wasn't for that trilogy and jaws uh so that's those are very special to me and the original star wars trilogy i used to watch so much uh so much at, at my grandparents that was we had that i have those vhs too um it was i think the 97 editions yeah um oh. They got those new and for me, and it was the the gold case VHS. Uh, you s took the thing and slipped it in, and then it, and then it had all three movies inside. Uh, I can still just like remember the smell of that VHS. I mean, that might be weird, but just like the the smell of that case, it's just a distinct uh, smell of that new VHS. And um, man, yeah, loved it. Um, remember watching a New Hope. Uh, and being as a kid scared at the beginning of New Hope, uh, not actually for I mean, you have you have Vader come in, but it was also too because like right before we get that, when even before the fanfare and all that stuff happens, it has like the the thing that comes up at the cross, like the sound. Oh, the THX. The room. Yeah, and I was I was like, oh man, what is that? <laughs> what is happening? What is gonna this movie is gonna be? Uh, yeah, you that used to scare me for some reason, and then um, obviously in you know, the movie starts and Vader comes out, and I'm like, <sighs> that was like this, the scariest moment in that trilogy for me uh, when he comes on the board of the ship. But I loved all three of those movies. But my favorite as a kid was Return of the Jedi, which probably honestly at and I don't know what age Jaws became my favorite movie, even though it was one of my favorites. It wasn't my favorite as a kid. Return of the Jedi was actually probably my favorite movie as a kid, uh, and I don't I don't know what it's at cer a certain point it started going down and Jaws became my number one. But yeah, Return of the Jedi just loved it so much uh, at that at that early age. It was my favorite in the original trilogy as a kid um, because it's the kiddish it's the most kiddish of those three movies. Um, it is. I mean. It's it's per. I mean, I I still have I have it at a five star rating. I think all those those three movies to me are all perfect. That's um, still my favorite Star Wars right now. 
Good. I mean, I, I, <laughs> you know, uh, there's there I do. There, there's things about it that I don't like as much. Um, Ewoks. Ewoks. I complain. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't hate them, but like, I'm not a huge fan. And also, just like, I just feel like there's not a whole lot for Han to do in, in Return of the Jedi after uh, they save him at the beginning. He's just kind of there. Uh, but uh, like different things, but yeah, I, I loved the whole stuff with Luke and Vader at the end of that movie as a kid. Like, best it's the most, in the yeah, series. It's yeah, definitely see. the best. It's it's definitely the best of the tr- uh, original trilogy. Man. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Well, thanks for giving me that. Um, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so so much emotion. Just Vader killing, saving his son and killing the Emperor. Even as a kid, you know, watching these movies, because it's so weird to me because it it, it feels like in my mind, because I watched these movies first, right? My grandparents got it in 97 when it came out, and I watched it, and I didn't see, which I also have on this list I want to talk about, the prequels, um... Phantom Menace I didn't see until 99, which I saw in theaters. Um, but it felt like there was, you know, looking back, there was so much time between when I watched those movies and, and that one. But there definitely wasn't. It was, you know, so I guess time just, like, was different as a kid. Because um, it was probably... I mean, probably, like, same year, probably. Uh, probably, with at least, it was... I, I probably would have watched them in 98, which is when I saw my first movie in theaters. So it probably would have been early 98 when i actually watched these on vhs i don't know when in 97 they came out maybe late 97 probably may (laughs) so probably yeah uh that would make sense but yeah probably like a year's time let's say between between when i actually watched these and when phantom menace came out but it felt so much longer uh but i am glad i got to see these movies before i saw the prequels uh, and got to experience it like that. Not that I would show that to people like that now, because I think things are different, and I, I don't believe... I, I, I think chronologically is how you should show movies. Um, that's me now. But, Star, Wars. Star Wars, you still do 4, 5, 6. Uh, Otherwise, like, what's what's the point of that big reveal? I you think that... Re- unless, unless you're... Ki- I, I don't know how you get past that reveal, though, now. Like, that's just, like, I feel like once you're born, you're like, yeah, we know that Star Wars twist. As a kid. What? You gotta show it to your kids. So you can't be like, oh, you're 13? Well, here's what Star Wars is now. No. Same thing. You watch four? Yeah. I mean, I watched these when I was at least three. So I could show it to my kid when I'm three. But that means I have to keep them from looking at anything Star Wars until I show them these movies. Like, they're not going to remember. Maybe not. Maybe not. Like, I, I, I think, I mean, yeah, four, four, five, and six is definitely how I'm going to show my kids. You're getting four, five, six first. Uh, same thing when it comes to the MCU movies, when we watch those. You're waiting a year before you watch Endgame. Oh, after. my God. You're going you're gonna to build that suspense just like I had to. You don't get. You to know talk. what's going to happen? They're going to watch Endgame on Disney+. Plus. You're not going to know about it. And then a year I'm, later, he's going to be like, let's go watch Endgame. I'm canceling Disney+, Plus, dude. No <laughs> cell phones. Nope. God. No <laughs> they're all far yeah. away they'll watch it Life you know, they'll watch it I'll be like yeah I haven't seen this why are you yeah. not crying you like look over and they're like on their phone and you're like what, what the fuck oh, <laughs> Black man. Widow just died what happened that's that's gonna be rules too like, no phones uh, uh, you know, home. you're gonna watch it well like watching a movie cause that's like a bad habit I have like I'm trying to get out of it like I'll yeah, I do too. When I'm watching like a new movie now, like I'll leave my phone in another room. <clears throat> yeah, you but you you have your laptop up. Phones is a different. If I'm if I'm watching like a new movie, um, like I'll, I'll put it in another room so I don't have to get distracted. Uh, now the movie I have to terrible, test you on that. Like some of these H24 movies, yeah, I'm like, that's what I was about to say. I have to go get up and get my phone because it's it's not happening. Like with that, like Woodshock and uh, 
Minisha? No, I'm sorry. Phone's coming out. Um, sorry. But that is the thing. It's like, you know, I could watch a lot of some of my favorite movies and still be on my phone at home because I've seen these movies so many times. Once Upon a Time is like definitely an exception. I don't pull. I don't look at my phone on Once Upon a Time. So. I'll do that next time. We'll work. Unless out. unless I'm like Snapchat and like a scene from the movie, I I'm fucking glued. Uh, but with a lot of movies, new movies, I I wish I could just get fully engaged at that at how, here. Um, but a lot of times, yeah, I'm on my phone, especially if I'm not like totally into it. Um, but there's sometimes exceptions, like Hard Eight, which was really good. Um, that I watched, like finished last night, but I started the night before. Um. I didn't really get on my phone or the computer or anything much when I was doing that. Cause I was like, I was really invested in it. the screenplay was really good and the performances were good. And so I was like, you know, really, really connected to it. I mean, I'm not a big, I don't know, like certain, even with star Wars and especially when I rewatch uh, some of the star Wars movies, you know, I love, that's my favorite franchise, but you know, a lot of action scenes, especially the f- space action scenes, which, some are awesome, uh, but I just I kind of zone out in some of those scenes. If there's just there's a lot of action going on, I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> when I start talking again, I'll look back up. You know, uh, yeah. lightsaber fight's different because that's so like uh, intimate. I feel like uh, yeah. a fight, but <clears throat> I want to. I, I have a, the next couple movies I could talk about, but go ahead. I I don't want to keep talking. Interrupt. You know. No, I mean, I, like I, said, I don't have a list. I just know, like, I know I watched the Star Wars uh, prequels, or uh, not prequels, originals. Not the prequels. Not the prequels. Well, I'm going to talk about the prequels next. So, uh, so. I, I mean, I watched those. I remember having the VHSs. Uh, I watched some of the Rocky movies uh, a good amount as a kid. I have that on my, I not, have just like, a list, not like not numbered or anything, but I just have a list of like movies I wanted to bring up. And Rocky is one of those. Um, yeah. But I, the only one I didn't watch a lot as a kid, which now I know why. I'm like, that's my least favorite. I don't care. <laughs> that's why it's your least favorite. You need to go back and rewatch it because it's a great film. I will sometime. Um, but Rocky was one of those where, you know, I mentioned it in the last video we did, um, our top shelf video with Forrest Gump, where my dad always had like every time Forrest Gump was on TV, he'd start watching it. My mom yeah. was so Go tired ahead. of it. Yeah. That's what Rocky was too. Like every time Rocky would come on TV, uh, any of those movies, um, he would turn it on and watch it. And my mom would be like, "Oh man, this again." Um, <laughs> so, and there's so many of them too. So it was like, I was as a kid, I was more interested in Rocky than say Forrest Gump, but I didn't appreciate it enough. It wasn't until middle school came. When me and my dad would like rent stuff or uh, movie uh, movie gallery and stuff, and like and we rented the Rocky franchise, and I revisited it, and I was like, oh yeah, like I love this is one of my favorite franchises. Like I love it. That's, uh, that's probably about the time Rocky Balboa came out too. Yes, because yeah. Rocky Balboa. So that's that's probably what actually happened because Rocky Balboa came out December two thousand and six. Yeah. Um, and when me my my parents separated in two thousand six, so we probably that fall was when we rented all those movies for movie gallery and like yeah. watched them. One last hurrah. <laughs> Not as a family. Oh. No, me and my dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Parents separated at uh, the end of summer. Broke, I said broke the news to you after Rocky Five. No. <laughs> We're getting divorced, so let's go see Rocky Six real quick. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, last film parents. theaters as a family. I'd have to look on. Uh, I made that list on Letterbox recently, and that's another thing we'll talk about. I know I have a lot more to say about that than you we do. Didn't, we didn't have one at all. There was no family movie. No, what? <laughs> we didn't have a family movie for uh, me. My parents, no, no family movie. The I'm trying to think. In 2006, did we go see anything as a family? Because I can't remember, but I know distinctly the last movie I remember us going to see as a family was King Kong in December 2005. Yeah. No, we didn't have one at all. Parents no. uh, divorced for I even went to see my first movie. Damn. <laughs> but it is. Um, uh, I don't know. Other movies, I don't know. What are you considering childhood? Um, 
So that's like another thing to think about. Uh, childhood for me is like any time from when I was born and remember watching movies to say el- through elementary school. I mean, uh, I wouldn't really. I don't really. I don't have anything. I didn't really consider middle school unless like you know. I, I I didn't really consider middle school, even though that is being a kid. I, I and this is mainly like elementary school type stuff that I wanted to talk about. I know the Breakfast Club. Uh, you watch that as a kid? Shouldn't have watched that as a kid, I'm sure. Well, I watched the television version, like the first time. And I was like, oh man. I remember it was like summer vacation. We were all like sitting together. I was like, oh man. Just lay in front of the TV. Just bring it on. Keep like where's the where's the where's the repeat? I just can't rewind it. Um <clears throat> Robin Williams movies. I used to watch some of his stuff all the time. And my grandparents were where I watched most of the movies, though. And they had, like, all the Disney stuff. So all the 90s Disney movies. She watched them all over and over. Um, which yeah, I, I... A newfound appreciation for those, like, when I watch them. Like, Little Mermaid is my second favorite uh, Disney animated movie. I watched a lot of stuff with my, my grandpa. Because, like, like I said, with Jaws and everything... Um... And I think originally, maybe, uh, I don't know, he, like, helped me really, like, get creative and stuff as far as, like, showing me these movies and, you know, letting me okay that I had, like, a, you know, made imaginary friends or, like, made, made up different stuff, uh, like, stories that he would make up, help me, ma- like, make up stories and stuff and stuff as a kid that, uh, uh have him to thank for that. But uh, it might have been a tactic originally, originally you know, yeah. uh, put this movie on, he'll fall asleep. Yeah. Didn't, didn't work. Uh, watch the movie. <laughs> At least he'll be distracted. <laughs> um, but, you know, my mom, too, she was big influence of, like, or not the influence, but, like, big um, part of taking me to the movies and doing that for me. And that and that's really special. Because, uh, you know, like, another movie I have on here is Godzilla, uh, 1998. Yeah. I know it's not a good movie. Uh, I rewatched it, I think it was last year, and gave it to two, which is a nice try, uh, on Letterboxd. But, you know, as a kid three years old seeing it in theaters. It was the first movie I ever saw in theaters um, that she took me and got in free. Cause which now it's like two and under you get in free, but uh, it was three and, and they didn't think I'd make it to the movie. They're like, Oh yeah, you can bring him in. Um, and it was just magical experience. Like, you know, you, you've been, well, you, it was at AMC classic is what it is now, but you know, it was nicer in the nineties. Um, but to me, it just had like this very, uh, just what I think of when I think of a, a movie theater, the, the smell, the popcorn, the the the, the colors of, of inside the place, the way the marquees were, and just just great. And then um, just like some of the scenes I remember seeing on the big screen from that movie as a kid, like when he comes out of the, like on the pier scene when that guy and he's like running from it. Yeah, just totally into the movie. Blubber was the first one I saw in theaters. That takes me to another point real quick. Um, and I don't know if my mom got... I, I mean, I'm sure my parents got me a lot of these movies, but I think my grandpa actually got me a lot of these movies too, but I can't remember. But um, I had like a, a lot of the Disney Disney movies, including oh. Flubber, but all of the... Uh, I had I had Flubber on VHS, but I had like uh, almost all of the um, the animated Disney films That's on my VHS. Yeah. Um, and I had... They're, watch them at their house in the sunroom. Oh, Mulan, Jennifer Love Lion King, so we had to watch that all the time. So over it, Lion King two, came out. Lion King and Lion King two, yeah. All that and watched it. Um, <sighs> next day, Mulan, uh, Tarzan, um, uh, Aladdin. I didn't. Uh, I saw I saw Tarzan in theaters. Uh, well, just tired of your movies in theaters, man. <laughs> <laughs> tired of these conversations. Uh, like Aladdin, I didn't appreciate it enough as a kid. Um, like I do now. Um, God, a lot of westerns I used to watch as a kid. Yeah, I didn't. Awesome. My uh, dad liked westerns, but yeah. Like Lonesome Dove? Uh, it's technically a miniseries, but that was one I used to watch over and over and over. And I could, I've got it over there. I could watch the whole thing just sitting down six, six hours and some change. I don't really have any of the Disney classics on this list that I was considering, but I mean, the Lion King, I, I did watch that, but 
I don't know. Even though I had all those on VHS, it was like it's part of my problem was, and I had these movies. I I wish I, I mean I was I was a kid, but I wish I could be like push myself as a kid to be like watch all these movies, watch all <laughs> these movies that you have here in front of you, yeah. watch them, uh, and get you know a, a whole different variety here. Because I just I, I feel like I just went and like my favorites. I was like watch these again over and over, over and over again. <laughs> Toy Story, put it in. <laughs> yeah. That's when I watched it my dad's. And I remember we had Toy Story 2, but I don't think I watched it a lot. So, no. I didn't either. I had Toy Story 2. Toy too. Story. <laughs> don't want the sequel. Uh, I just... oh, oh. Another one I want to throw out there before I forget. Land Before Time. All of them, dude. So uh, sad when I was like in the puddle. I don't remember a whole bunch. Um <laughs> But I had at least four. I think I had like four. Yeah. Um, we had a the, lot. We, I think we might have um, um, Obviously, the, I think the first one was, the, was a theatrical release. Spielberg and George Lucas, I think, actually produced it. It might be the best. Um, but the one that I watched the most was the sequel, the second one. Uh, the fourth one for you? When I watched all the time. Yeah, I remember. Um, I can't but, remember anything about them. Like, well, the, the second one was my favorite, so that's why I know it was, it was my the one I watched the most, and it was the one with Chomper in it. It introduced Chomper, it was the, yeah. the baby T Rex. <laughs> Loved it, and I watched it so much as a kid. But the thing is, and then I like, I think it was it was the third or fourth one. It had like an alligator in it too. I can't remember. Are they streaming? Uh, oh, I don't know if that's a. I don't know what company that is. Is that a Disney? Yeah, my poor time is on HBO. Oh, damn. Don't have HBO. Um, Scrub. Um, but I remember, you know, going to movie gallery, and I, well, I'll talk about that more too when we're talking about these movies, because just the experience to be able to go to a a movie a, a video store was something from the childhood too that people will not understand in the future <laughs> of what. what? <laughs> um. <laughs> but I remember going there and seeing some of like the Land Before Time movies. So they had a couple that I didn't have, like five and six. They would have like there. And one of those, I can't remember which it was, but Chomper came back as an adult. Yeah. And I was like, oh. And then so I, that was one of the ones at Movie Gallery that I kept wanting to re rent. I was just like, oh, my mom was like, oh, you can pick a movie out. I'm like, oh, I want this. And you're like, you already, you've already watched it. And I watched it again. <laughs> And that goes to another movie on here that uh, is Monkey Bone. Yes. From 2001. I was just Brendan Fraser in his prime. The Mummy was one I watched a lot as a kid, too. Yeah. I don't have it on the list, but yeah, I, I did watch it a lot. That and the second one. Yeah. Um, I remember watching Monkey Bone a few times. Like I just loved the feel of it, though. Yeah, me too. I, I doubt it holds up. I doubt it does. So I'm I'll kind of. Get, I'll get to it sometime, but I have to look and see what it's on. But I, I was a big fan of it, um, and that also we're going to talk about is a uh, good burger. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your <laughs> word? <laughs> my mom hated this movie, dude. Uh, like, I can't imagine my parents liked it at all. <laughs> Had it on VHS. I remember the the VHS was orange. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Just over and over watch it. It was just so fun. Funny, just... I can still watch it. Yeah, I, I mean, I still like it, yeah. Because it's still funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then my mom would be like, oh, God, you're watching this again? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's how my mom was with Forrest Gump. Oh, I'm sure they were like that for a lot of things, a lot of different movies. Oh, uh, same thing with uh, the Green Mile. I mean, I watch that all the time too. This movie is three hours long. Uh, we're gonna watch all three hours, or whatever's left of the movie. <laughs> and that goes to another movie I have on here, and that's Titanic, which I also had in my top shelf episode. My yeah. mom, I, you know, my mom had to buy this too uh, on VHS, and it was one of those that had the two two VHS in it. So like instantly it stood out because I'm yeah. like, whoa, 
Why? Two movies? <laughs> <laughs> I have to figure out what's up with this. Why, why is there two of them? But yeah, I was just, I just wanted to keep watching it over and over. It's like, huh, put it in. Especially the second half after the iceberg hits, you know, I mean, they, the ship's going down. The action starts. <laughs> yeah. Cut the old lady out. <laughs> Get her out of here. That's how Braveheart was. Two VHSs. Oh, hand them over, dude. And what would suck is like, I would always watch the first tape and I immediately want the second. So when I go to rewatch it, like, oh, I got to wait for this to rewind. Man, why didn't I rewind it before? <laughs> God, too. That's just something else, too, that kids will not understand in the future. Rewind, having to rewind. And yeah. I honestly just forgot about it until you just mentioned it. Because uh, I, I, I think I blocked it out. <laughs> Well, you're, I'm, I'm so anticipated to watch the second part. Like when I go to rewatch, like, oh, dad, gone it. I gotta wait. <laughs> I just listen to it. Like you can tell. Like I can just remember the noise too. Like when it slows down, it's like, oh, here we go. Now it's getting ready. <laughs> oh man, such such a hassle. Uh, and I would, dumbass me as a kid would never rewind stuff when I oh. when I finished it. So every time I wanted to watch something, we'd have put it in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> who does this? Be kind. Please rewind. You just got to wait. Just sit there like, oh, man, come on. I'm tired of waiting on this. Uh, I'm, like, looking at my movies. Like, I know uh, Jumanji I watched a lot as a kid. I don't. I didn't have that as a kid. Love that concept. Uh, board game coming to life. Yes. Most of the movies I had, like, all the Disney stuff I had and a lot of, I had, I had a, a little, sh- I had a shelf and you could put, you could double layer it, so there was double layer on top and the bottom. But I know all the top and all the probably back of the bottom layer. I can't remember where Di- where Disney stuff that had the big VHS cases. Yeah, big <clears throat> puffy ones. White. Uh, yeah, uh, most were white. Most. Most. Yeah. Some had different colors, and that was always exciting. It's like, oh man, I like this. Like the Grinch. I had the Grinch on a uh, VHS. Green. <laughs> Tape, awesome. tables, tables green too yeah <laughs> um rugrats was like that uh the first mo- rugrats movie it was orange i think the tape was yeah the yeah was the was the case green and the inside was i can't remember i remember the vhs actually being orange i don't know what the case was and then I want to say that the Rugrats in Paris, the the movie might have been blue, but I can't remember. Um, uh, that one. No, thank you. Uh, uh, both of those good, but um, I know one you you or a whole series you got that I never watched until after high school was Harry Potter. It was a big one for you, probably. Yes. Um. So with the first Harry Potter, my mom took me to see it. It was in 2001. Uh, in the fall, the movie had been out for uh, I don't know how long, at least a week, probably a couple weeks. And my mom took me to see it uh, at Carmike. And I want to say it was a weeknight, um, but I don't remember. I know it was just me and her, uh, and there wasn't many people in there. Um, but I just loved it. She liked it, and we she instantly went out and got me the book. But she didn't get me the book of the movie. She got me the second book. Uh, <laughs> Which I guess makes sense, but yeah, you know what happens. You read the second book, you like it. <laughs> she got me the second book, and she, at that point, I think she read the second and third book to me. I think um, as a kid, still. Um, and you what? You haven't read them? Still haven't read them. They're pretty good. Pretty I good. Like, I want to check them out sometime. I feel like I've missed it. Probably. Like the only reason I watched the movie is because I when I went to London, I got my picture taken at Platform Nine and Three Quarters. Which um, I had no, I had no idea what that was. <laughs> God. I never oh, really, it's, it's a wall, allowed, man. Wasn't allowed, wasn't allowed to watch them. So like everybody's like, oh, we're gonna go. I'm like, all right, cool. That sounds, you know, whatever. And we got there. I'm like, oh, okay. I'll take my picture. Like, and when I got home, I'm like, oh, I watch the movies now, and I like them. But as far so as I reason, watch. like, uh, it seems like a commitment. Um, I feel like it's too late to game. Don't read those now. Well, I went back and read the first book after I'd finished the whole series because like, I was like, I want to go ahead and read this book because it's the only one I hadn't read. and I, It was my least favorite book, so that might have been part of the... I'll wait till I have kids. I'll read it to them. Yeah. And I'll experience it. That'll probably be good because you, you get off. experience with them too. I'll hold off for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then the second one came out the next year, year. and my mom 
I remember going and we bought tickets for it for that night. Um, <laughs> and then we got there. We went out to dinner. Can't remember where we ate, but uh, my dad went with us that time. And it was a nine o'clock showing on a Friday night. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, and I don't think they anticipated even with like, cause we had went, I think, th- I want to say that they might've tried a different, she might've went, we usually went to car Mike, so maybe not. She probably tried to get an, an earlier showtime and it was sold out. So we had, that's when we ended up getting the nine o'clock, uh, which she probably wasn't happy with that it was that late. Uh, <laughs> and I remember us waiting in line, a line that went through car Mike towards the door to get in and we ended up he yeah he was pissed we ended up <laughs> sitting because uh, he's he likes the back row on the end that's like I th- his preferred God. seat is his preferred seat um which you know by the time when i got older me and him started going to the movies nah we can sit on the end but it's gonna be on further on down i'm not sitting in the back not sitting on the end <laughs> well honestly the honestly i'm starting to do that too now no, not I'm... not back row I'll never do that, but on the no. end, no. I'm, but to be fair, theaters, it depends on where I go because theaters are starting to be set up a little bit differently now with more space. So like when I go to Regal now, if it's a movie, especially if it's a movie where it's an opening night, I do go for the, the end of the seat, end of the row. Uh, but it's, it's not like you're like way off to the side anymore because of the way it's like spread out. Still. Right in the middle. I would pref- I would prefer that, but I it's the phone thing, man. People pulling their phones out, and this is like if I if I'm at least if I'm at the end, I have less of a chance of being bothered by somebody else on this side. Yeah. Unless somebody comes and just sits down on the aisle. Then <laughs> <laughs> right we're really gonna have a problem. Sure. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I was like, but yeah, uh, we we sat front row corner. Is where we ended up having to sit. For Chamber of Secret. Front row in the corner was the only seat. Well, it was either the only seats available or the only seats on the end. I can't remember. Probably, probably the only seats together. Um, but yeah. So he so he another, it was, was another, him, me, my mom. That's another thing people won't understand. So, uh, what, what you didn't have reserve seating? Yeah. No, Which reserve I'm seat. happy about that. You sit in your seat and put your jacket in the next one <laughs> for the person with you. <laughs> yep. Uh. That's how I remember I went to, to a friend in elementary school. We went for his birthday, like opening night or opening weekend. I think opened a Saturday night for a uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Front row, right in the middle. Oh, just blew me away. God. <laughs> the kid. Because I was like, I don't even know if I'd seen the other two before. So I'm just like. Well, there you go. There's a fast. There's a, uh, a series you saw before me in theaters. Third one I saw. I mean, the. The first Fast and Furious was the first one I watched. Yeah. But I didn't I don't think I watched the first one yet. I did, uh, the fourth one was the first one I saw in theaters. I saw the third one. <gasps> and then I don't think I saw another one until the sixth one in theaters. I don't That's think not... I saw Fast Five in theaters. I don't I'd have to check. I don't think so. I saw four I saw all of them after from four on, but uh, uh... The first one we watched, it was like a rental, and I I watched it. And then I remember, I remember when the second one coming out, the posters being in the movie theaters. Yeah. But for some reason we didn't go see it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. No thanks. They were like, "There's that sex scene in the first one. We're not taking you to see it." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can see all the violence you want. Uh, no sex scenes. Yeah, that's another on the rocks you got playing later on. I didn't. <laughs> I can put that in there. The rating system? You got oh, the, rating. The, rating, the rating system, yeah, yeah. yeah I do have that. Uh, uh, Night of the Living Dead. I used to watch that a lot with my dad. Um, wow. Love that. Uh, uh, we watched Dawn of the Dead some, but not as much. I like Dawn, Dawn of the Dead more. But I remember just watching that. Oh, just, oh man. Black and white. Oh, what is it, zombies? Shoot them in the head. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I, did ha- I do have Terminator on here. Uh, T2, but not Terminator. I didn't watch that as much as a kid. Uh, I had 
Well, we, I watched both of them. I had Terminator 2 on VHS, but I don't think I had Terminator because I don't remember getting Terminator, which I got on VHS first until I was a little older. It's probably closer to middle school. Uh, <coughs> it was the last, that was the last VHS I ever bought was Terminator. Oh, wow. Yeah. I just remembered it. it was at some like bargain section of, of something. I don't know. In some yeah. art, art store. I can't remember what it was. Man. that i was in and i was it was probably sixth grade i'll look at a sandlot i used to watch a lot as a kid oh, never just, seen that you've never seen sandlot no i missed it dude it's, you missed it completely i remember as a i was so fascinated it's like i don't even like sports but i love sports movies if they're good and i'm like i'm a kid i think i i played t-ball for one year so I'm like, oh yes i can relate to you guys uh but it's like they're playing, uh, and there's, there's this dog like next door. They're all scared of. Like they got, he got, he's got their baseball, and the one kid finally jumps the fence, gets it, and then he, like he jumps, and the dog starts chasing him. It's like, oh man, I just love the chase scene. I got it over there with a the case. Uh, a lot of people like it. Uh, so, uh, I mean, you might like it, but I mean, you might be like, uh, this is. I don't. Know. I don't think I'll watch it. I don't know. I don't take, like sports stuff too, so it's like I don't know how much. Well, it doesn't take place in the '90s. It takes place in the '50s or '60s. '62, but it's not streaming, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, but like Planet of the Apes, my dad loved that original series. Um, so, oh, I don't have that on my list, but I can go ahead and mention that I did watch the original movie at some point when I was a kid. But I actually went. I did you see the Tim Burton one in theaters? Uh oh. I saw that in theaters. I see, yeah. Um, and I had that on VHS afterwards. And you know, as a kid, I really liked it. Um, I don't know what I would rate it today. Two ish. <laughs> but you know, you also have the new trilogy. <clears throat> yeah. That's out now, so it's like. Yeah, I went. I went to see Rise with my dad in theaters. But he didn't go see War or dawn with me so i saw all those in theaters but not with parents i, I saw them all like my, i know we went to see rise together but i don't know if he just he didn't care for it that much or if we just never went to see the other two um but i remember he had all all five of uh the planet of the apes on vhs whole planet of the, beneath the planet of the apes uh i can't remember return of the living dead part three for some reason not the other two. <laughs> I remember I didn't understand uh, what movie soundtracks or scores and stuff were as a kid, I don't think. Uh, maybe my parents didn't either. Um, which, Shrek, that makes sense why I, why I got it. <clears throat> but I remember for Christmas 2001 getting the Shrek CD, the Shrek soundtrack, yeah, as well as Planet of the Apes. I think I must have seen that they had Planet <laughs> of the Apes, and I was like, Okay, I mean, yeah. Yeah. This, this, like I said, the Shrek one makes sense because like you had the Smash Mouth and stuff, so I guess that's what I was thinking was going to be on there. And it turns out it was just like the score of Shrek. So yeah. imagine how bummed out I was as a kid putting that on. Just, what, what just is sitting happening? What is happening? Yeah. <laughs> and then you know, oh man, what is this one going to be like? Putting the Planet of the Apes one in and just being <laughs> scared shitless. So like what? The- <laughs> God. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> boom, boom. That was Danny Elfman. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was it was good. It was a good score. Do you remember? I do. That is what I remember. So maybe not. But I'm trying. I'm trying to differentiate. Like I'm looking at my movies. Like when I like I remember watching Blade. That's Blade. one that I didn't see until middle school. I don't. I can't remember. Um, but I remember but, when, I, when I did watch them. Those were ones like I did rewatch those two a lot. Blade and Blade Two. Yeah. Um, um. From New York, I watched a lot. I know you don't care for it, but you missed it, dude. I why well, didn't watch it as a kid. Adventures in Babysitting. That's the one I don't have on my list. I just remembered. Yeah. Was yeah. obsessed with that movie too. That was one for like, ah, <laughs> oh, just watch it again. And I don't. Yeah. That's another thing that people won't have a concept of, and maybe. I, mean, I don't know if you do or not. Did your family ever have movies that they had taped off TV? 
Very rarely. Like, See? I remember some my dad had, and, like, those were prized possessions. I was like, bro, don't mess with these. <laughs> you can't get them again. My mom had a few of those. That they She had, like, taped off TV. Because I remember Batman and Robin. Now, oh, that awful yeah. movie. But oh, I liked it. I liked it as a kid. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, it's another one I forgot. Scott oh, chill. <laughs> had a had a that was that's probably why I'd never learned to ride a bicycle. That was my bicycle was Batman and Robin. Nice. Um but yeah, I really liked that as a kid. Um but that was taped on <laughs> taped on a VHS because it was um one side or like it was like that and it was also that movie with um Chandler from Friends. He was in and, a movie? Uh it was him and some was I, I don't want to say, say the lady's name wrong. Hold on. Uh, keep talking about whatever else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I know, I know. Middle school. Fools rush in. That's what it was. With uh, yeah. Selma Hayek. It was it was Matthew Perry and Selma Hayek, and it was Fools Rush In and Batman and Robin on one VHS. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Uh, like That's Jungle Book. That one I used to watch a lot as a kid, and my grandparents. Um. Mean Girls, yeah. Mean Girls used to watch, watch a lot when it came out. Uh, so I was like ten or eleven. So I mean, I think I was. That's early I'll, middle school. I would include that in there too. That's 2004 when it came out, right? Yeah. Um. So I was still in elementary school, but I had that was when I started getting DVDs. So I had that on DVD, and I had a. Um, uh, I had that on VHS. You had Mean Girls on VHS. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't have, I think, you know, Mama Tanya, uh, whoever. I had a portable DVD player as a kid. Oh. Uh, okay. my, uh, <laughs> my grandma got me that for Christmas. So it was like a, you know, a portable DVD player. So it's got a, it, you've got the space, you put the DVD in. It's a little screen you flip up, a couple little buttons, and you just watch it. Oh, <laughs> so that was one of the ones that I carried around and watched. Oh. Uh. I don't know. I guess I'm trying to think of ones that aren't animated because those are kind of just easy to throw out. Well, if you want to throw out some more animated ones too, I'll go ahead and throw Scooby Doo Zombie Island. Yes. Uh, yeah. Loved that. That's my favorite Scooby Doo movie. Me? Oh yeah. Yeah. Remake that right now. I might rewatch that tonight. Honestly, right. when we get done with this video, I might go. It's on Netflix. Oh, uh, we're gonna Netflix share it. Is what we're gonna do. Okay. So this <laughs> God, I hope it holds up. <laughs> God, I know. Walk out of this thing. God, fuck it. Two, two stars. Star and a half. Because <laughs> after I watched this one, uh, Sarah's sister has this, the Return to Zombie Island. Oh, I've never heard of watched that one before. Huh? So I'm going to check that out. Oh, man. Um, I also have Bugs Life on here, as well as Toy Story, which we already talked about Toy Story, but... Bugs Life was another one I had on VHS. Loved it. Um, I had the toys for Bugs Life. I remember I had like this. I had, I had the toys, but it also came with like this little toy tent too. Uh, that the you could put the toys in, and it was like the ants like little place. It looked like leaves and stuff. Yeah, yeah See, I pretty had cool. That year, uh, action figures, a kid. The big one. Yeah. Yeah, I had that. I had different on the toilet. God. Well, I like I flushed her hair bow, and she was like. That's she seemed like that was an honest, you know, a fair reaction. Take my buzz light, your stuff it down the toilet. End up breaking the toilet. My dad had to replace it. He was not happy. <laughs> I imagine not. <laughs> like, and that's what like that's what you think a fair reaction is. Like, oh, a hair bow. Oh, your buzz light, your action figures going down the toilet. 